it's episode two. Episode two. Kofumi is back, and Kofumi is ready to murder. Or, you know, save everyone, apparently. I turned down the BGM a little bit. It's time to mix lives and save drinks. <laughs> oh, fuck. Chiki heard what you said about her concubine. I said, fuck up Makai. Anyway. It's time for Coffee Talk 2. A game by Toge Productions, who made Infectionator, by the way. Ooh. Seattle, 2023. Seattle. Do you Ooh. want to narrate? I, I mean, I could, but I don't have to. Okay. A city of enduring loneliness. A place where the dreamers, the realists, and the wary are striving to thrive and not just to survive. It is a time when society is reevaluating what it means to be alive. Rhymes. Yep. It is a moment when history is questioned and traditions are challenged. Old classification laws are confronted by those who are striving for fairness, for the right to be acknowledged, in a society rife with judgments. Mm -hmm. Acceptance is a battle, and identity is a luxury they just began to have grasped. I mean, honestly true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a fancy tablet. In class, yeah. Many who are feeling lost return to their screens to find their footing. And the world becomes fast-paced with increased connectivity. Whether for work or pleasure, for a little encouragement, or simply to escape. It is unclear whether or not it helps or further isolates the mm. I'm still mad that it took me like 30 minutes with you just to finish something. It's okay. Yeah, I guess. Some look for answers off the beaten path. Seeking bittersweet comforts to help pass on lonely nights. In a night blooming coffee shop standing between the rainy streets, they'd find a small respite or a cup of warm drink. And these are their stories. And say? What? We got here, okay? I know, but still. Anyway, Puff, Let's I'm so. Head pets. I will. Anyway. Buff, hello. How are you doing today, by the way? Hope you're doing well. Seattle be like that. Seattle do be like that. All right. Massive job losses. Large companies move out of state. What next? Seattle West Precinct Police are losing a record number of officers in January. Social experiments going between entertainment and menace. Oh, yeah, the Minecraft social experiments. Anyway, coffee. We have a coffee. little picture of our cat girl. And a golem. Oh, geez, we have things. Group ad. Storms. Okay, so we have cafe latte, cappuccino, dark chocolate, espresso, green tea latte, and matcha. Mmm. We have and, new drinks. Uh, friends. And without you. Georgie! Aw, baby. Yes. Wait, we are following people? Oh. Flying to her. Oh, we have to go from the bottom. Go out of lane. Or go get a new place to live. You just need to go to said place, have a look, and pay the cash. Now all of these forms you need to file this multi. Yeah, I know. Aw, it's a cute little photo. Cat girl Cats. squad. Uh, oh, we can like them. Hold on. We can like everything. Like all the messages. We're going to be checking uh, the catering service I mentioned last week, uh, so Ice Baileys do not be late. Of course his name online is Ice Baileys! <laughs> what to do? No. Wait, hold on. Oh shit, yeah. Your free trial will start tomorrow. Yeah. It's driving a fiction plan free something. Free trial. You have active description of our fiction plan. We'll start seeing your daily short stories. I right, hope you enjoy content provide. Ooh. Wait, Puff, you're doing coding now? Oh my gosh, I feel so sorry for you. Okay, we have friends. Alright. So this will go on for a while. Georgie! Off 
Officer Georgie! Welcome! Evening, Kafumi. What's cracking? Aside from the thunder outside, that is. Oh, we have a... Freya's postcard. Sorry. Oh, red postcard Freya prepared for Officer Georgie. Let's left him a message. Huh. Oh, we have to actually give people shit now. Oh, no. I'd say. Power lines. Probably. Yeah? What about them? Hmm. Oh. That's a concern. Power has kept on going on and off all night. Our machines couldn't even heat up properly. Aw. That bad, eh? Sorry. I'll take your order as soon as the machines are ready. No problem. Guess our resident rider, Miss Green-Haired Fairy, isn't here tonight. You mean Freya? The one and only. Unless you change hair color, then my bad. <laughs> it's still the same. She won't be coming around for a while, I think. Why is that? She's currently on a research trip for her new book. That's so. At least that's what she told me. Hmm, that's too bad. Can you try and give him the thing, or...? Yeah, let's try. Evenings won't be the same without her. Yeah. Oh! I, I can drag, but I can't can... drop it down. Oh. Ah, well. Yeah. No kidding. I admit it's been pretty quiet around here. It was good for her to escape the city once in a while. Have some time to herself. Ugh. Yeah. Not looking too good, huh? Yeah, but I've already notified the city police department. They said they'd monitor the area just in case. No worry, Kafumi. If anything happens, I'll lend you my trusty lighter. Your... lighter? Uh-huh. Get on for my grandfather, Lucky Charm of sorts. Never fails in a pinch, not even once. Unless you need it lit up for longer than ten seconds. <laughs> then you're on your own. It's the fault that counts. No cops you to carry flashlights around anyway. Oh, we do. But where's the thrill in that? Yeah. Sounds like you need a vacation, too. Do I ever. Ooh! It's ready! Goodness, finally! Thanks for waiting. I can take your order now. Great. I'm already done for the day, so no more, no more coffee for me. Oh? No midnight patrol, then? Just for tonight. Roger that. In that case, would you like to sample our new tea selections instead? Ooh. We have hibiscus and blue pea available. Hibiscus and blue what? Uh, blue pea. It's actually butterfly pea, but we call it blue pea for short. The color is really Why? pretty. Oh. Huh. I had no idea you offered alternative stuff to Fumi. No judgment here, just saying. Alternative what? Oh. oh! It's P, as in pea pods. Oh. And not whatever else you thought it was. <laughs> Got it. Oops. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Amazing. I still remember my golden rule. Of course. No dairy for Officer Georgie. Correct. I'm sure you have all this info run down your phone already. I want to say yes, but... But, some of my notes went missing after I got my phone serviced a month ago. That makes sense. Ooh. Whoops. Better write down everything you can remember then. That's a good idea. I think I'm remembering. Hold on, can I actually write that? Oh. Wait, you actually left me something for you. Here we go! Ah! That's so, alright. Hmm. Now I have one of your new teas. You leave the only choice of you, just keep it simple. Okay. Oh, this is a new program, too. So we have blue pea and hibiscus blend, so no milk for him. Let's try, mm. what do you think he would want? He wants blue pea and hibiscus. Okay, you so say he didn't want coffee, so not that obvious. No coffee, no milk. Uh, does it need to be three things? Yes, it needs to be three. I'd say the green leaf thing? What's well, he, that? He wants our new tea. We've already had green tea and Oh, okay, okay. In that case, let's try the blue one. Blue 
And what else do you want to do? Do you want to do two blue and no cinnamon, or just pure blue? Or cinnamon, cinnamon? Hmm... Let's add some cinnamon, maybe. How much? One cinnamon, then another blue. Okay, so we do it like that, because that's the order we have to do it in. Mm. Let's brew! That is, a, that is a lot of bitter. I don't know. I maybe it'll work out. Oh, this is new! Cinnamon blue tea. Very good for stuff to also very private. Ah, get oh! items. Oh! On a plate with the tea, I see. Cinnamon blue pea. Oh? A postcard, eh? Is, she's bra is she bragging to me or something? Mm. Oh. Mmm. Mm. Ah. What is it? It appears she left me a message. What does it say? Nothing for you to worry about. Okay. Anyway, thanks for this. Give her my regards. I'll hold the regards in her drawer. You're welcome, and I will. All right, here you go. Wow. Is this stuff really safe to drink? It's because humans don't perceive blue as a natural color to eat. So blue is not normal. That's fair. What's with the color? I assure you, it is completely safe to drink. Yeah, yeah, I'm just playing with you, Kafumi. It's surprisingly mild, huh? Usually people put lemon in it. I change color, too. I mean, it changed color, too. It changed... Really? Yep. Unfortunately, I'm out of lemons. Didn't have enough time to get any from the store. It's fine. I remember my youngest showed me a video of something like that. You know, she's really into new agey health stuff. I remember she made me a drink from blue algae or something. To lower my cholesterol, she said. <laughs> Problem was, it tasted like dirt. Usually does. Don't have cough. That's disgusting. I still drink it all, though. Does you were to think of her dad's health? Yeah, she's swell. Between you and me, though, I'll stick with coffee. But this one, I don't mind at all. Hmm. Maybe I'll ask her about it later. Interesting. Thanks. You're very welcome. What a storm. Uh, what was said in the last 30 seconds? Uh, we gave him the postcard so that he could get Freya's message, but he didn't tell us. He said that his daughter's into, like, New Age help things, basically Chinese medicine and whatnot for everything that is online for some things, or just whatever businesses are trying to sell you and portray you as, like, old whatever wives' tale medicine. And... He said that blue algae as a drink tastes like dirt. And he said he will stick to coffee, but he doesn't let hide the blue pea. Got somewhere to be? Oh. Tablet's reconnecting. Come on. Annie? Sorry. Uh -oh. I'm here. Yeah, did the internet just go out for a moment? No, I just muted for a second. I was clearing my throat. Gotcha. Anyway. I'm supposed to be home by now. My youngest just finished all our makeup exams. And I don't think makeup as in, like, putting on mascara. I think makeup as in... I thought that for a second, but yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Makeup exams. Yeah. We found out for some reason where she's been neglecting her studies. So, let's just say I had a few things to say about that. Yeah. How'd it go? It was a disaster. Oof. She pulled through me in, right? Yep. Seth, we haven't spoken to each other for over a month now. Uh oh. So... Sorry to hear that. Did you try the pizza trick? Anyway, the missus planned to celebrate a little of night. Making all the kids' favorite dishes, having her sister over for dinner, all that. Yay! So I'm buying dessert pies and olive branch of sorts. Hmm. Sounds like a good plan. It's the pizza trick, but not. Yeah. But as you can see. I got no pies, and I'm nowhere near home. Uh oh. Because of that storm? Now that and my car is busted. Oh. All the value c valve cores are removed and tires to Wait, removed? What? How come? It just has my car's latest victim of vandalism spree. That's a whole other thing going on. Mm -hmm. 
Rest easy, though. We're on it. Can't you take a bus, dude? For now, I need to find a way to get home fast. You can't just drop that sort of fact and expect me to not have questions. Holy. We'll see how they look, and then I'll decide who voices who. <laughs> I feel like this is a me character. <laughs> you go ahead. Bye, Zeus! What a disaster! Is a he a satyr. Yeah, I was gonna say satyr. Welcome. I can take care of Kofumi if you okay. want. Hey, what's shaking? I love his Guxy jacket instead of Gucci jacket. Evening, Pops! What's up? Thunderstorms, obviously. Hmm. Touche. Oh, this isn't the weather just awful. Like someone out there doesn't care about their weather water bill or something. I'm glad you're open, though. Else I'd be super soaked by now. Happy to be made in time. Mm hmm Would you like anything to drink? Something to warm you up? That'd be great, yeah. Oh, I'm Lucas, by the way. And you are? Let's see what Lucas is like. Oh, God. Filling up your timelines 24-7. Oh, no, he's one of these people. My name's Kafumi. And the gentleman over here is Officer Georgie. Seattle Transport's not as good as most think. Oh, no. Awesome! Mm. Nice to meet you, Pops. Can I call you Pops? Fine by me. Sweet. Phone. Phone. Lighting up. Yeah. Uh-oh. Mrs. Colin. Ah. All right, be back. Wish me luck. You can take a finger if you're talking to him. Yeah. Good luck. See ya. Oh, fuck. Lucky, why did you say he's Jake Paul? I hate it. I would rather pretend I didn't hear that. Yeah, let's not. Okay, Algy, it's good that you don't know who it is. Good. So, can I get a cafe latte? Sure. Or maybe not. Hmm? Yes? You know what? I'm not sure. You tell me. You're the pro. Uh... Okay, okay. Hear me out. You see, I used to like coffee. Like, mm -hmm. I loved espresso. But at some point, my stomach turned against me and decided to just hate it. Like, mm. really hate it. You know what I mean? Right. Anyway, milk helps me take the edge off. That's why I've been ordering lattes and the like. I still miss just coffee, you know? So I'm wondering if you can suggest me something. Ah... Uh... What's it about coffee that you miss? The caffeine, of course! And just the overall boldness, you know what I mean? Am I making sense? Have you ever tried matcha? Nope, isn't that no, just green tea? Oh, sorry. sorry. Yes, but much more concentrated. Would you like to give it a try? Sure. And one matcha for me, please. One matcha for your right, green then. tea. Oh, is it? Yep. That's a lot of bitter. Makes sense. Yeah. Mmm. Ah, so that's what matcha is. Yeah. Well, it's green tea, but the powdered leaf. Uh, particularly. Cup of premium matcha coming up. Mm. Oh, fuck no! Could be worse. Could be worse. Man, it's super green, huh? Let's try it. What do you think? You know what? It's pretty good. It's a little grassy, though. I kinda like it. I'm glad to see your taste. I wasn't sure if you'd enjoy it as is. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Some people find the taste a bit too intense in a serve straight like this. I love matcha, though. Well, good thing I like intense. This makes it for the fact I'm really not. <laughs> Uh, I feel like if he was a spice, he'd be flour with a little bit of salt in it. Anywho, look forward to your future recommendations from now on. I'll do my best. Oh, fuck you. So, does anyone ever come here? What do you mean? I was trying to pin this coffee shop on my post, right? But there's, like, no Tracy Replace anywhere. No tags, hmm. no mentions, nothing. What's up with that? Oh. Maybe our crowd isn't as big as usual coffee shops since they're open quite late. That makes sense. What time do you guys close anyway? We are open till morning. For real? Take a shot. Pretty heckin' late. Did you turn into a secret bar after like 2 a.m. or something? If we did, Officer George here, they'd have a few things to say about that. What? That's no fun. Are you guys 
people on social media at all? Not the coffee shop itself, no. Don't mind the photos, they've been scientifically shown to improve the flavor, seriously. Okay, sure! Late night coffee shop that nobody talks about, huh? Interesting. But hey. One second, please. Sure thing. That means I can stay until the storm's over, right? Wait for Tanook. After this, I gotta cook some dinner for myself. Then I can work on some shorts. And then I'll go for a walk until I do some other things. I gotta watch more stuff with Annie too tonight. Still hate that. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Welcome back. Anyway, yeah, I saw the last line, so go ahead. Mm -hmm. Of course. Stay as long as you'd like. Sweet, thanks. I'll give you a shout out in my stories if you want. Your stories? Yep. Here, let me show you. Oh, fuck you. He took a photo and posted it minutes ago. That was fast. Oh. Oh. I was going to tag your place here. I do have an account there. We are following uh, him on here. Yep. That was fast. 9,000 likes already? Jeez, dude. Genius. He's popular. He's internet famous. Oh, no. But I hadn't seen this feature before. Oh, yeah. It's a pretty new thing on Tomodachi Hill. Huh. You can check on people's updates now. Just look at the stories you have inside the app on your phone once in a while. Hmm. Better check a daily, though, because the stories only last today. Oh! Boo! Who knows? Maybe you'll find some juicy info on your customers there. The wink is painful. Hmm. Stop That's winking. a bit. Hey, I'm just saying. People will post anything. True. I'm kidding. I'm usually more active on my tube channel, anyway. <laughs> Since you're here, want me to tag you instead? Ah, uh, no thank you. But I'm curious, what do you do exactly? Your posts already seem to have a lot of reactions for a new feature. Right, I guess you can call me a lifestyle reviewer of sorts. Oh, fuck, it is Jake Paul. <sighs> I report on the hottest trends. I hate voicing him. On the hottest at, people. At? On the hottest places. Fucking. Use a different verb. And everything else in between. You mean adjective? Adjective, yes. Wow. You're worthless. <laughs> <laughs> This means coffee shop is part of the hottest gang. Do you want it to be? Sure. For the right price, you can. Aw. Never mind then. Yeah. Just kidding. My manager decides what I endorse. Ah. Uh. They help keep me on brand, so to speak. Since you said I could get too crazy sometimes. Whatever that means. Oh, lordy. Oh, Georgie's back. Yay, some sanity. Came from the opposite side, apparently. Yeah. Well, maybe he went that way. I'm not sure. The entrance is this way. Oh. Welcome back, pops. Thanks. Is everything all right? Everything? Okay. Kinda. The missus is not happy. Maybe I should try calling a cab. Yeah, that should be your first idea. Yeah. What do you think? I'd save my mints if I were you, Pops. No good, huh? I've been calling him while I was still on the lookout earlier. Oh, one and a half hours later, here I am! Yeah, fair. No cabs around my station, either. Did you try ordering online, Pops? Do you not see my phone? The only ordering I can do is gnome noms around the corner of my house. <laughs> Touche! Well, on the bright side, our power seems stable for now. Yep. Yeah. Whoa. I retract my safety. I re yeah. Sorry. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> for what it's worth, it held out much longer than I expected. I love his eyes going back and forth. Like, dude tries to be big and famous and strong influencer, just decides to become a little scaredy bitch when it's dark. Mm. Oh no, my phone doesn't work. <laughs> what do I do? Yeah. You're right. Well, I mean, his phone's probably fine. Yep. Want to borrow my lighter then, Kafumi? Attempting offer, but no thank you. I'm going to check on something, though, so I'll be right back. Sure, good luck. Hey, you alright? 
Yeah, everything's peachy. I just... <laughs> I just don't like being in the dark so much. What, you're scared of the dark, kid? Duh, you never know who might jump out at you. But we're in a room. Still! Don't you feel scared at all, Pops? Of course not. I do night patrols all the time. If I can grab them, I can handle them. Yeah. In theory. I don't know how to feel about that at all. <laughs> oh. Huh. Did you hear something? What? I swear I heard something just now. Oh, there's someone there. Yeah. <gasps> Holy f Whoa! Sheep is scared. She's cool. I fucking adore her design already. Uh... Hi? I'm back. I'm back. Sorry about that. Everything should be good until now. Oh, great. Welcome. You can take her. Okay. Can I place my order? Of course! What do you have? Although our arsenal is limited at the moment, we still have the usual fare. Coffee, tea, and herbal drinks. I like something soothing for my throat. For my mind. Update work? If you have no particular drink in mind, why don't we suggest trying our new blue tea latte? Blue tea latte? Hmm. Could you make it pretty? I'll try my best. Okay. One blue pea latte with art, please. Alright, blue pea latte. Do we have it? Mm. If I have to guess, she's a banshee? Probably, but we'll see. I like her eyes, too. They're really fucking cool. That is not the right drink. So let's do blue pea and two milk. That was how we made a blue lot. Good. Uh, good night, Puff. There. Yes. Yeah. There it goes. Oh, good night, Puff. Good night. Let's see. What should I make for her? Let's try. I was gonna make some nice rings or something, like ripply. But that looks nice. I'm trying to do like a little tree thing. It looks like coral. And I like coral. Coral's cool. That coral works. Coral is cool. I want yeah. to do like, a little bit more. It's a tree of the sea. Wait, actually- Oh. Oh? Yeah, we, oh. we can do this. This is new. Oh, I, I, okay, that looks really good, actually. I think that's good. Fuck it, we ball. That- We have to get to see it, too. That's good. That is really good. Thank you for waiting. Here you go. Hmm. It's blue? Yes, but rest sure it's all natural. I see. It's pretty. Hmm. How do you like it? It's good. Thank you. You're very welcome. Is the power okay now? Yes, the state department's being sure of it. Awesome. Now we can just wait until the storm's over. Three months later. Yeah. Well, about that. The news said the storm would go on until midnight at the very least. Uh, but... It would have been nice if I had my car. There's several road closures due to flooding, too. Sorry. Mm, well, darn. Yeah, no one's moving for a while. Yeah. So basically, you're saying we're stuck. I'm afraid so. At least for a little while. I like our ghosty lady. She's chill. Yes. I mean, she's a ghost, potentially. She has to be chill. Yeah. I'm in deep trouble. What's wrong with your car, Pops? Yeah, you didn't finish explaining it earlier. I have questions. <laughs> <laughs> didn't want to alarm you, Kafumi. His tires got flattened. Oh, right. For real? Take another shot. Yep. 
There's been some vandalism going around recently. Some bikies are moving to Valcors and deflating tires and parked cars on the West Precinct. I like how she puts it on her phone when she says there's vandalism. She's like, oh, my favorite activity. <laughs> <laughs> She's paying attention. Huh? Why? Maybe someone's a collector. Or got too much time in her hands. No clue yet. Anyhow, our station lot was getting repaved. So a few of us had to park outside today. Hi, Duke. Hello. Well, you know the rest. Mm. Did everyone's cars get affected too, Pops? Nope. Just mine. Oh. That's so weird. It's like they knew it was your car. You're so chill about it. Yeah? Maybe because there's no real damage done other than wasting my time. I disagree, but okay. Yeah. Though my co-workers aren't so cool about it. The recent mass resignations have left us severely understaffed. Additionally, companies are moving away to the tax hikes as some protests happening. Mm. Which means tensions are high all around. That doesn't sound good. Don't I know it. Anyway, we're caught the culprit on CCTV. Ah. Mm. So I'll be looking into starting to, looking into a starting tomorrow. How to delete CCTV footage. <laughs> Just hoping it won't get any crazier in the meantime. Could it just be a prank, Pops? Dude, he said it's just a prank, bro! No, he said, could it be? Uh... You think so? Yeah. With what's been going on lately, the suspicion would land elsewhere, right? The culprit may think they won't get caught. Are you speaking from experience? Oh. Uh, if I say yes, would you let it slide? Depends on what you did. Harsh! But I'm serious, prank videos are like their own genre online, you know. People watch that kind of stuff. Oh yeah. It's all about cheap thrills, Pops. A good way to make money too if you play your cards right. Oh, Doliosli looks different there. Yeah, she's thinking. She's thonking. Mm-hmm. Oh. Her finger looks a bit weird, but that's just because of the direction that it's in. Yeah, maybe she's biting her finger or something? Or at least like kind of having it under her lip. Yeah. The crazier your shtick is, the more views you get. Which means more ad money. Lather, rinse, repeat, until you push them just a bit too far. Then you get to nuke everything and we'll just go poof. And disappear. Won't stop anyone from doing it all over again, though. Mm. So really, all you need to get started is a camera phone and Wi-Fi. Everything else comes down to timing and luck. You should know a lot about this. Maybe I should bring you in for questioning. My manager would tell me! <laughs> joking, joking. Anyhow. A high risk, high reward opportunity with a low entry barrier. Mmm. Sounds like something else. Oh, yeah. Anything goes for views. Honestly, it's one of the reasons I'm on a break at the moment. Oh? It's a long story. I've been wanting to change the direction of my show for a long a time now. What's wrong with it? Well, the views are declining, for one. Not enough pranks. <laughs> Harsh. Nah, I, th I haven't done those things in a long time. Not that I would ever want to get back into it. Anyway, I'm not in a position where I could take that kind of risk yet. Even if I'm totally up for trying something new. Because people don't like change. That's right. Yeah, they get bored easily, too. A nice good might be trash tomorrow. It feels like I'm battling a daily paradox sometimes. Hmm. They make a sign of the continuity of your work depends on the audience whims, kid. I guess you could say that. Why? <laughs> Georgie. Pardon? Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I was on I was on I was unable to avoid overhearing you. It's alright, I know I'm loud. Can you explain what you mean by why? Hmm. Do you think the audience is always right? Nope. Of course not. And why place so much emphasis on what they want? Why must you follow their whims? I mean... It all comes out of numbers, right? Hmm. A single opinion might be easy to negotiate with. Maybe even ten, or a hundred, still doable. But to influence the opinion of thousands, millions? Not so easy. 
So my belief is you can't fight them, join them. Then change things slowly from the inside out. There's no way it can work. No? Why do you think that? Mm. My apologies for not providing context. You don't have to. I was just curious. Considering I intruded, it's only fair. I admit I'm not big a fan of online activities. I find people's conduct there very loathsome. Honestly, same. That's a, That's a strong word. That's indeed a strong word. Two years ago, I uploaded my singing reel online. Oh, is she a banshee? In preparation for my audition as a soprano. Soprano? Really? That's cool. Can I see it? I took it down. Oh, why? I believe she's getting to a kid. Right, okay. It was something done out of necessity. I recorded the reviews on my phone at home. Since I have no previous theater experience to show, it was not of the highest quality, I admit. Mm. Even so, I did post it to a video site, mainly to add the link to my applications. Though I'm not sure if it helped at all. As my attempts have yet to yield the results. Right. However, one day my application received an unexpected response from an auditioner. It was a polite rejection. Ah. Mm. However, they left me with a curious suggestion. What'd they say? I highly recommended that I moderate my video's comment section. So I checked. You didn't notice before, I guess? Mm. That's surprising, but okay. It was... a lot. What happened? The comment section is teeming with plenty of strong opinions. If they can even be called that. Hmm, what? There were... A lot of comments telling me to stop screaming and take my video down. Because they didn't want to get cursed and die yet. What's with that nonsense? Others question my sanity for knowingly spreading bad luck with my voice. She is a banshee! Yep. Many years also want to know who and where my handler was. Oh. Hmm. Since there's no such thing as sentience for us banshees, I suppose. Is your left up? Yep. That's horrible. You want the Vindication Act in place? Those pieces of shit still exist, huh? The Vindication Act? A global treaty recognized sanity and rights of non-sapients. Sapient refers to any species as intelligent and bipedal. Mm. No talking dogs, I guess. Yeah. Like like humans, elves, orcs, gnomes, halflings, you know. Huh. Yeah, like, even us satyrs get added pretty late into the game, you know? But shouldn't you fit the bill right away? Yeah, but we're all born male. We didn't really have the best reputation either. That makes sense. Anyway, it took us a while for us to finally get recognized by international law. Since the further you are from the likeness of the main six, the slower the process will be. Horns gasp. Yeah, so I'm sure it's been way harder for you, lady. Our numbers are extremely low. Our. Others being unfamiliar with our existence is not surprising to us. Mm. Still, it doesn't make it right. I get it now. You're just seen from the internet. I'm you seem very chill about it. Hmm. Chill. Do I look chill? Uh-oh. Light. But how can you be chill when such bland disrespect is thrown in your face like that? Whoa! Don't you wonder? Wait, what, what gives them the right to be so vile? I love it. Who do they think they are? 
Pray tell, what do they feel when they commit such offensive acts? Okay, count many people who see her as horny and afraid and are very, very scared. <laughs> yeah. Did they derive some sort of perverse pleasure from others' suffering? Man. The audacity. I can't. I really hope Kimi's seeing this. I can't. I see an enmity of talking screens. As if only people of comfort disrespecting others. Without suffering a direct hit to their face for it. Oh, I love her. Damn it, not again. Just a second, please. Oh, okay. Georgie leaves. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. Oh no, he died. <laughs> oh, he moved. <laughs> it's just... Not right. My kind of behavior is just not right. I'm sorry. Oh, my candle just went out too. Funny. I've gone too far. It's all right. I admit I just don't want to hear the audience is always right. Because that means I dream is when I ground for I can even try. How about if I help you? Mm -hmm. Look. I get what you're going through. As a satyr, I had to deal with plenty of numbskulls trying to tear me down to justify their inferiority complexes. So believe me when I tell you this. Not what it takes to take the tables on them. Hmm. How? Easy! You gotta sell yourself. Pardon? Whoa, kids, slow down. I might be lax, but I still work for the law here. So we got a bunch of people worried about disrespecting banshees. Yeah! When they type all that shit and they just disrespect them anyway. You think it'd be funny, but no. People are just stupid. Very. No, Pop's not that kind. Honestly, I didn't know how much about the opera scene. But I know those sirens dominate a huge chunk of the soprano roles, am I right? Yes. As if they're made for the role. Exactly. So this is a case of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Which means, no matter what you do or how hard you'll try, you'll always be an outlier. Therefore, if you just compete based on your skills alone... Sorry to say this, but you probably won't make it. But... Wait, hear me out. You got an awesome thing that all those sirens don't have. Mm -hmm. A story. Oh. Ah. A story. Yeah! Imagine, a banshee who dreams of becoming a let lead soprano, or whatever it is you wish to do on the stage, pursuing her dream in the midst of all the sirens despite all the odds set against her. Isn't that a great narrative? Hmm. Well, everyone likes an underdog, they say. Yeah. But you haven't even heard my singing yet. Have you? I'd love to, of course. But honestly, that doesn't matter as much as you think. What? Our goal is to get your story stuck in people's heads first. Most people will just scoff at it because of their own dumb assumptions. Which is exactly what we want. And then we'll blow all their expectations away. By putting you on stage. What stage? And how? Oh, don't worry, I have my ways. No matter how you sing, every little people will be surprised how you sing you there. And that's when you'll get your own time to really shine. What are you talking about? No. What? Why? I just want the chance to properly sing. To show what I'm made of, regardless of what I am. I know what I'm offering you because also will play in. Hmm. The underdog story is kind of iffy, yeah. No offense, but all this sounds like you're just... It's as if you're just trying to sell a caricature of me. Exactly why I don't want to go corporate. Mm. Of course not, no way. But how did that- yeah, that kind of hurt a little bit. I'm sorry for being rude. Then she just freaking stabs him in the back. But I don't know you, and you don't know me. Mm. So how am I supposed to consider everything you said? When you don't even know my name. Well, if what you've been doing- 
had worked at all, I would have asked for your name already, don't you think? What? Huh? Did? That, what? What? <laughs> okay, he deserves a slap for that. Yeah. Hey. Georgie, please blow off his dick. I don't know where you're going with that, but... I think you went too far, kid. What the hell are you talking about? Ah, oh, crap. Hey, look, I'm sorry. The storm seems to be easing up. I'll be taking my leave. Right. Thank you for coming, miss... Riona. Let's see her. Oh, she looks really fucking cool in that picture. Hmm. Okay, I love it. I think she's leaning on a piano. Maybe, and the title pair really sells it. That's good. Miss Riona. Let's see you again. Our conversation certainly took an odd turn. So let me make this point. For all the words you spoke earlier, I feel few are actually intended for me. Yeah. Take care. Have a safe trip. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, you piss her off, dude. Uh, sorry about all that. I messed up, didn't I? Answer? The answer is yes. This old man's still trying to figure out what just happened. Oh man. No one came over me, Pops. I get too hyped up sometimes to lose my cool. Sorry, just a sec. The manager. Road closure's over, so he's picking me up now. Oh. Oh, that's wonderful. Now we don't have to see your face again. <laughs> yeah, we'll be seeing him again, probably. Yeah, for sure. Nice. By the way, do you need a ride, Pops? I can drop you off wherever, no problem. Thanks, kid, but it's alright. I'm sure the cats start rolling around soon. You sure? Yep. Dang, right. even he doesn't want to spend time with them. Yep, alrighty. I guess I'll be seeing you guys around. Thank you for coming. We hope to see you again. Yeah. Hey, Kafumi. Yes. No, it's nothing. Mm. And then, see you soon, Kafumi. Pops. Have a safe trip. Oh, fuck him. He galloped out. Well. That was a show and a half. No kidding. Feels like I'm ready to just call the day. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I get my cab, I'll get out of your hair, Kafumi. Oh, please. You know I didn't mean it like that. Not gonna lie, though. Listen, those two got me thinking for a little bit. About? Me and my youngest daughter, Missy. Maybe I was too hard on her, but I don't know. When you're a parent, it's hard to choose between supporting your kids' ideas or stopping them from taking things too far. Mm. Yeah, it is. So is it finally a tried for sure. Also, hi, Juju. Yep. Uh oh. It's the missus. You know what? I think I better go. Mm hmm. At least if she hears the rain outside, she'll get less mad at me. Yeah. Please try not to get sick. Kidding, but I better go, though. Yeah. You take care on closing, Kafumi. Will do. Hope you get a cab soon. Thanks. See ya. Is that like a belt store or a wristwatch store around right the street? I always thought that thing looked like a sword. Mmm. Oof, what a day. Start clean up and then, huh? What's this? An old metal lighter with an interesting design carved on it. Oh, oh. he left his lighter. Someone must, so must have forgotten this. Yeah. Better keep it safe over here. It exudes an interesting feel. Artifact mm. obtained. Lighter. <laughs> okay, let's wrap this up. Whew. Oh, hello, Juju. Sorry I didn't see you there. Mm -hmm. Milk, honey, and ginger. We all know this one. 
And Annie is my wife. She's the best. Yes. One more day and then we go back? I think so. Wednesday, September 20th. Did I do okay with the Banshee? What? Did I do okay with the Banshee voice? You did well. Oh no, that meme. Future of dating? How AI may steal your potential mates with increasing sentiency. Uh, that is not a word. It I is think. now. Morris Lester, well, we know. Fuck. Morris Lester was the one guy that was being terrible towards our idol cat. Invigil stands after appeal rejected. Good. Controversial oh. motive behind an ex-fire agent's investigation of Deep Five. Fire is kind of like border patrol. Anyway, we have things right here. Good luck traffic on 105 from downtown to avoid if you must, yes. A day off. Okay, but that's a funny pose and it shows off his legs. Yeah, that's kind of cool, actually. Is your dream coming true? Mine might. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, stories. Eh, it's just those. You want to start? Oh, sure. The weather seems better tonight. It's still rainy, though. Hmm? Who is it? Welcome. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's back. Fuck. Frick. Hiya! Hello, sir. Back so soon? Hell yeah! And there's nothing you can do about it. Mm. I immediately miss Freya. Mm, yeah. Though now I'm just thinking the reason Kofumi's being so formal is because he they don't really like him. Yeah. Doesn't also, have his, it any other way. His hairstyle is similar to Freya's. Oh. Weird. Aww. Expecting something? Mm. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah. Kind of? Kind of? Maybe. This dude better not mm -hmm. be the new Freya. Okay, I knew it was a long shot, but... Loki? I was kind of hoping the lady from yesterday would be here again. Hi, Key. I, I hate his neologisms. I don't know what that means. I mean, I know what low-key means. Opposite, I'm not sure about high-key. Opposite of high-key. Ah. Like, high feelings. Oh. You're my first customer today. <laughs> I can see that. You know, it's silly, I mean, what are the chances, right? I just want to apologize properly, I think. Still not sure what came over me. But never mind for now. That's not the only reason I'm here, anyway. But dang, Kofumi, this place is really empty, huh? Right now, yeah, that's about right. All right, all right. Oh, sorry. Right, the regulars simply show up around two or three hours from now. Oof. Yeah, Pops too. You mean Officer Georgie? Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, he's a regular, right? Right. Not every day, but he comes around that time as well. I see. Then wouldn't it be better to open a few hours later? True. Not new customers tend to drop by around this time. Mm -hmm. He's saying to his level of training, that's all, yeah. Ah! You got me there. By the way, it works out for me. Cause I'm here to do some work. Oh? I might be on hiatus, but I still gotta post a bunch of stuff. So I've got some editing to do. If you need a power outlet, just one near the wall under the table. Oh, he's taking her spot too. Sweet, thanks. However, there's no Wi-Fi here. <gasps> what? What is this, the Ice Age? Maybe that's why this place is so empty. Maybe. Yeah, get some Wi-Fi hooked up. I'm joking. At least your brand. I mean, honestly, it might be a point. Yeah, at least your brand game is on point here. Brand game? I mean, this place is called Coffee Talk, right? So I thought you'd say something like, "We're all about talking, not surfing," or something like that. No? Honestly, I never thought about it that way. But that sounds legit. Finally, a word we know. Sure. Why not? Ha <laughs> ha. In that case, you can transfer the Tatline royalties to the link in my bio. Licensing fee is free since you're so cool. Thanks? He's so stupid. He is very stupid. Joking! Anyway, I guess I better get to move on over there, huh? Yes, move out of my sight. Uh, kind of close enough. There we go. Oh, fuck, there's a new outlet there. Now I'm ready to place my order. And I'm ready to take your order. What would you like to have tonight? Hmm, I've 
gonna say fresh and awake. So maybe a cafe latte? Oh, no, wait, can you make me a custom drink? Like, a cafe latte with lots of honey? I mean, a lot of honey. <laughs> a whole beehive of it? Well, I remember tasting more honey than milk. So, might as well. Can you try making that for me? I'll do my best. Great. Cafe latte with lots of honey, please. So, more tea than honey, and more... Hold on, please. I'd say two honey and one tea, I guess. Yeah, let me, let me make sure what I'm doing is right. So, we can only do that. So, more honey than milk, though, is what he said. Oh. ESP, ESTP, oh. yeah. Being buzzy! That that's, has to be it. That's a new drink. The wings, though. Latte art. Hold on. We have the latte wings, art. wings, though. Latte art. I love the little wings in the picture. Grumpy old cup of coffee. B. That works. <laughs> oh, I do! <laughs> you shouldn't. You don't have fuck it. You enjoy. Here you go. Lots of honey. And I believe we got this. Birthday? 3rd December. Actual fun plum. Oh my gosh, I hate him. Oh, I fucking hate him. Oh my gosh. Alright. Being buzzy, an energizing companion during those late night work hours. I I want to try that. Well, hey, at least we got the right thing. Yeah. Thanks! You made it look so fancy. Oh, I hate you. I hate you with a passion. Who's... Who's buzzy? <laughs> This guy's bussy, apparently. No time to give this a try. Cheers. How is it? Super. This is exactly how I remembered it. I'm glad it's to your taste. Actually, it's not. It's too sweet, even for me. That's something I drank a lot back in the day. Gives a lot of energy when you got nothing else to eat. Hmm. Nothing else to eat? Eat? What is it? So you had that in place of meals? Ah, they picked up on it. I know, yeah. I had a lot of spare cash back then. Like, I I was served a lot. Until eventually I moved into my old group's house. But anyway, yeah. Do it, Lucky, thank you. Oh, you have a lovely time, Lucky. Enjoy. Sure takes me back. Hmm. What is it? I was thinking maybe that's the reason you can't handle coffee anymore. You think? Yeah. As much as I love coffee. Drinking it to replace meals isn't really recommended. Even with lots of honey? Even with lots of honey. And milk. Milk too? Mm, it all turns into acid in your stomach. Yeah, milk is a base. Oh. oh. So, not great if that was all you had. Yeah! So basically his body is just rejecting coffee now and it had something else to work with? Yeah, not only that, refeeding syndrome can bring back a lot of bad memories where your body thinks that it's an allergen or a hostile entity in your system. Ooh. Yeah. I had wondered about that. Mm hmm Right. It's too much sense! Yeah. What a bummer. Sorry. No, no. You just thought one of my life's biggest mysteries, probably. Uh, thanks for that. As long as it helps. Man, this is just like how the one thing with the furry artist post of how they're more important than some doctors because this one dude had to spend like 10 years trying to get like a diagnosis for their issue and some guy just like says a disease and they're like an artist they were getting commission from and then it's just like they go the next day tell the doctor and it's like, yeah, it's that probably. It's like, fucking. Yeah. And I can't look at being buzzy the same way ever again. Hello there. New person. Goops. Goop. Flashy. We know her. Goop. Our friend. Our friend. The Friends. ambiguously gay duo. And they have new outfits. Yes, they do. And I'm going to check her, her social media websites like a creep. Aw, she looks <laughs> so cute here. She does. I love her. Anyway, I voiced Myrtle. You had Aqua. Oh my gosh, she looks so happy. Aw, oh, fuck, I love them. I'm glad she's out of the sports outfit, honestly. Mm-hmm. A nice surprise. Long time no see, you two. <laughs> Hi, Kafumi. It's been a while, have you been? 
we uh, were in the area, so we thought we'd stop by. I'm glad you did. Right. Not like you were trying to change that subject or anything. Hmm. 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 <laughs> she rolled her eyes. Look, Aqua. All I want is for you to reread their terms carefully. And I just want—I just want to know if you'll still help me if I accept. I mean, it's all just hypothetical anyway, right? Not if you sign something. If the way you're talking about it doesn't reflect that. And it really bothers me. Hmm. Ah. Uh... Okay, I admit maybe I got a little too excited about it. And putting that aside, I just want to know if you're in this in this with me or not. Because I'm really feeling it this time, Myrtle. And I want this game to be out there. Although we're not even halfway done with it yet. And about the terms, I mean, who knows, Myrtle? Maybe those are just what I need to motivate me to work harder. And we can complete it. Motivate you, you say? Huh. That's just pure recklessness. You know that. Mm -hmm. Aqua, I know you're not. Look, let's just give it a rest for now. Okay? Okay. Is it bad I instantly started tapping my desk a little bit like her? <laughs> He's I'm really good at getting into character. Hem. Um. Oh, hey, Kafumi. Hello. Sorry I had to see that. No, no, it's fine. We were in the middle of something. Sorry for the hassle. It's really, really fine. I like how the voice changed so much. Yeah. Um, no, go ahead. Honestly, I'm just glad you're both here. After such a long while. So, can I get you anything to drink? Uh, yes, just give me a moment. Um, Take your time. How about you, Miss Myrtle? I'll have a spiced milk tea. Iced in what way? Some cinnamon would be good. Or whatever you think is better. Okay. Uh, one spiced milk tea. Okay, so, then. So that is just tea, cinnamon, and milk. Oh, we have the full ingredient list already. Jeez. Let's see what this one makes. Because we can always switch milk and cinnamon around. Yeah, no, we're gonna crash it for now. So, tea, cinnamon, milk. Wait. Tea, milk, cinnamon. Shia Denny. Yep, I remember that one. Huh, okay because, then. Because she had it in the first game, I think, when they went to uh -huh. Indonesia. One Shia Denny sashaying in, which means <laughs> she wanted that sweet spicy chai from the town of Aden, Yemen. Well, from Yemen, but so. And we have her maxed! Yay! That was fast. Yep. Yeah. A uh, game developer. Game programming, working on Full Metal Conflict series. Everything's my time, what I'm doing with my life. As I said before, working on Full Metal Conflict, sir. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Which means this might be the only time we see them. Shit. Aww. Thanks. Enjoy. Hmm. How is it? Good. I think he nailed it. Glad to hear that. Hmm. Did you say Shia Denny? Yeah. I put a little cardamom and other spices in it. Just a little it was up to the spice part, at least. I see. I suppose you try it because of the documentary I told you about the other day? Yeah. Watched it yesterday after pulling an all-nighter. Sounded interesting, but I couldn't remember the name. <laughs> I guess I'm ready to order too. Certainly. What will it be? Uh, I see you have new tea selections on the shelves. Are those butterfly pea flowers I see? Yeah, good eye. I've had them before. 
pretty often, actually. Especially in the office. How do you like it prepared, usually? I like it best when brewed with a lot of mint. Could you make it that way for me? Sure thing. Then I'll have a blue PT with lots of mint, please. So we do lots of mint, so we double up on the mint. Makes sense. Let's see if this brings us a new drink. Aqua's Tranquility. <laughs> we That's have... Cute. Yeah, it is very cute. And we have... I could give her a lighter. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't give her the lighter. Yeah, go back. Here, you need a smoke. <laughs> give the mermaid a lighter because she's hot. Anyway. One specialty coming up. Let's see. And... She is not maxed. Okay, we'll see more of her. At the very least. Researcher by day, aspiring indie dev by night. And we have... It's earthy yet minty taste, but leaves indigestion while the colorant smell suits her senses. But we have a lot of drinks we need to discover. Wrong. Oh, that's so much coffee. All right. Thank you. Teal, very teal, very much like her. Looks nice, doesn't it? I was going to comment on that. The color reminds me of the sea. Yes. No. How is it? It's really good. I'm happy you like it. When I feel anxious off, I make this tea. They usually put a little sugar and lemon salt in it too. Mm, lemon salt mostly served for chicken. Really? Salt? That is strange. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so what's next? We're gonna try that salted butter tea too? <laughs> I thought you were the one who was going to try it, Myrtle. As if. I couldn't even begin to imagine how that tastes. I wonder how different that'd be from just using plain cream. No. No on the salt. Not that curious. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I told her about a documentary on hot drinks from the world the other day. They had a lot of strange recipes. You should try watching it too, Kafumi. Who knows? It might inspire you to make some new drinks. Mm -hmm. Sure, sounds interesting enough. What's the documentary called? Overflowing more comforting beverages around the world. Serve Myrtle and or Aqua the correct beverages on day two. Well, we got that done. Yay. The name sounds a bit plain, but the content is a bit unique. Uh, Shifty eyes. It's got lots of normal drinks, too. Oh, like the poop uh, coffee? <laughs> no, Annie, that's, that's literally a thing. I know, you've told me that before. Yeah, the civet poop coffee. Ugh. Yeah. I'll check it out later. Thanks, Miss Aqua. You're welcome. And now I'm ready to tackle the night. Aww. Works piling up? Yes, but it's fine, really. I just need to free up some time so I can work further in my game. Your game? Oh! Oh! The one case that show the one that showcased at uh, Gax something? <laughs> Is it Gaxbo? Ah, uh, he inserted himself somehow. Yeah. Right, Gaxpo. That's the one. Cool. Oh. Mitsuki Kitsune, mm. thank you for following me with the Akito Academy. Hope you have a lovely time Welcome. while you're here. Hello, fellow floof. We're just doing coffee talk. We're going to end up finishing soon, so we'll see you later on Thursday. Or tomorrow if you ship yep. my YouTube. Thanks for the head pat. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's hard to get showcased there. So you must be really good. Oh, no, no. I, I mean... Hmm... I couldn't have done it without Myrtle's help here. Hmm. For real? Take another shot. It's three so far. Got like an insider entrance or something? The way she just looks at you. Oops. Sorry for butting in. One of my crew members is super into gaming, so I hear about it all the time. Anyway, don't mind me. Please continue. She got interest from one of her favorite publishers. Is that so? Yes. A at Gaxpo, one of the reps came to my booth on a day Myrtle couldn't make it. I had to stay behind in the hotel to fix a mess in my company's files. 
yeah, it was too bad. I was really nervous on my own. Anyway, the rep and I talk about my game a bit. They seem interested and there was talk about publishing my game. Ah. At the time, I thought they were just being nice. Okay, I'm gonna say, um, I think they came over explicitly because Myrtle wasn't there. Yeah. Like, they were waiting for an opening to, like, trap her. Yeah. With a is, contract. This feels like that. So, I'm going to make reference to someone that a lot of people know. Uh, Alan Becker, who made the animator versus animation thing. Way back in the oh, day, yeah. another website actually picked them up. And they were, like, having a little... Um, what was it called? Um... Like, they had a contract, and they paid them a couple hundred dollars only. So they kept on mm -hmm. pulling an ad revenue for the longest time until he managed to get them to pull the plug on it. So they had, like, stopped for a couple of years and actually just, like, get out of their funk. So now they're doing what they're doing yes. today, but they had to wait so long before actually doing it because they were, like, stopping them from uploading any of their original two on the other sites. Mm. So that could be yeah. one of those situations where they just take all of her rights. That makes sense. Yeah. Huh. But they actually emailed me a draft of their contract last week. Sounds like Sounds great like... news. Sorry. Sorry. How about this? Whenever we end with a character that we voice and Kofumi butts in, we let her take like we let the other take over. Okay, that yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Hmm. Am I wrong? Well, I was ecstatic at the time. And they were one of my favorite publishers, after all. Uh, right. But... Not to break the non-disclosure agreement or anything. She's gonna totally break the non-disclosure agreement. <laughs> mm -hmm. The terms weren't too great. So you do get it. And, by the way, you haven't signed in any NDA yet, so you're not bound to anything. Exactly, there you go. That's true. But I still want to act in good faith. A four! In terms <laughs> of the furthest thing from acting in good faith. Hmm. I may ask, what terms are we talking about here? I'm sorry, I'm just a bit lost. Right, sorry about that. Uh, so... How much did you miss, Algy? Oh. I'm sorry, Algy. Is the uh, basic... Mm, sorry. Do you want me to explain or do you want to explain? Uh, you go ahead. So, long story short, uh, Myrtle and Aqua were doing their little expose at the not PAX thing, and Myrtle had to stay behind one day to fix her company's files because they kind of fucked up something and she was the only one who could fix it at the time easily. Aqua was alone, and some people from one of her favorite publishing companies gave her a contract after a week of, like, saying, hey, your game's good and we want to publish it. And she just is now realizing that the terms were fucking awful for her. Yeah. So, to sum it up, they're going and, to... What? No, I was just about to... Sorry. No, you can go for it. And basically, that's what Myrtle's been hounding her about lately, it seems. Yeah. Uh, she doesn't want anything stupid to happen to Aqua. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Rose tinted glasses, ignoring all the red flags, basically. Yeah. To sum it up, they're going to invest in the game and cover up all the necessary expenses. They'll do the marketing, promotion, distribution, and all that. Hmm. Okay. But if I'm able to meet the deadline or refuse to adhere to the request for changes, uh, or breach any of the state agreements in the contract, Many of which are rather questionable. Mm -hmm. Oh, she actually frowned. I must return all their money regardless of my progress on the game. Jeez, fuck! Ooh. What? Also, uh, Alan Becker, the one that did the little six figures of animator versus animation, had to deal with something similar, but they actually got roped into it. So out of the deal, in a long shot, well, long story short again, Alan Becker got like a couple hundred dollars on a website that was making thousands upon thousands of dollars off of his animations. He wanted to actually be paid for his work. They said no. Hmm. Anyway, in this case, I'm noticing... Oh, you can no, go ahead no, with that one. No. You can keep on saying any. Okay, so basically, um, not only did they say you have to agree whatever changes they want, they also said they covered the marketing, which, I mean, yes, that's good, but that, but I remember, uh, 
that guy's shorts supposed to point out necessarily that and that's always a good thing because what if they just don't do good marketing for you for instance yeah like uh, sometimes they just do really crappy marketing or they do it at the worst times mm -hmm. like you could be covered only at 4 a.m on a sunday night enjoy yeah or they just say the wrong things like um I st i'm still angry about what they did to treasure planet because with that movie um not only did the marketing, the ads reveal one of the spoiler characters later in the movie and everything, it basically revealed who the main villain was. Yeah. Which really sucks. I hate when movie trailers do that. You're meant to get a gist of the movie, and that's it. Yeah, it's just, it was pointing, it was trying to um, frame it as like a, you know, a plucky adventure type story, just one of those sort of things, but that's really not what it was. At least in my eyes. So yeah, they really did it dirty there. Yeah. So yeah, I like I don't think necessarily that's what I was going for in this case with the marketing thing. I think it's more so they just want to like they're saying they can change her game around to be whatever they want it to be, and if she disagrees at any point, she has to refund them. Yeah. So yeah. Also, I just noticed her shirt is her little comic and her slow path. No. Anyway, won't be cheap at all, mind you. I can only imagine. And if they don't do so, they'll have full ownership of the game. Yeah, Whoa, say what? no! Yeah, no. Mm. I don't know what to say. That can't <laughs> be right. Can it? So what if they're the ones who breached the contract? I get to keep my game. Okay. And? That's it? <laughs> oh, uh, no, that's not all. After turning the unused investments too. Then it's only bad for you. Yeah. But that's Just... what I. That's what I said. <laughs> Pardon me, but are they for real? Number four, take a shot. We're gonna be drunk by the end of the night. <laughs> I said that too. That is that is dumb. There's a still plenty more, but uh. I had a roofer try to trick me into a spot contract while I was taking estimates. Right after I told him no, he said, did I hear, did hear that? I heard something collapsed. I didn't hire him. Stupid idiot. Wow, that's that's almost a threat. Yeah, it's all right. I think I get the gist of it. When I first read, I thought, maybe the turn it this way because it's still a draft. Mm. I suppose, yes. I also thought maybe it was something that could still be worked out and discussed. That is... Until I asked Myrtle for advice. I see. The trash contract, Aqua. I know. I get it. But it's just, I kept thinking, you know? What if this is how all the contracts are? They are not. No, no. They no. can't be. What if this is the best I could get? This is the first contract. Wait for another. Yeah, I get the feeling, though. I really do. Mm hmm. It's not, though. But what if? Will you still help me, Myrtle, or not? Just kiss already! <laughs> Is that really what's important here? Right now? Come on, Aqua. I know you're not this dense. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice if you heard what I'm actually saying, and not what you think I'm saying. What do you mean by that? Sorry, just a second. Oh. I think I better go. I have to prepare a report for a presentation tomorrow. Alright. Are you going to be okay? Yes, I think so. How about you, Myrtle? I think I'll stay for a bit. Oh. Okay. Then I'll see you around, Kafumi. Fly Miss Aqua. Safe trip home. Slosh, slosh, slosh. So, does she not have legs, or...? I don't think she has legs. Hmm. Lucas, don't, don't get any ideas, Lucas. I will throw you out. <laughs> I will throw you out with tentacles from Shogoth Starbucks. Are you alright? Yeah. I just got so frustrated when she kept asking me hypothetical questions. Hypothetical questions. And yeah, I get that. She seems like a very firm sort of person. Yeah. 
She doesn't deal in hypotheticals. Anyway, such as? She asks if I'd still be willing to help, should she accept one, something like that in the future. What kind of question even is that? It's as if she doesn't trust me. Or anything I say, for that matter. Hmm. I don't think it's because she doesn't trust you or your- Oh, sorry, that's you. Right. I don't think it's because she doesn't trust you or your expertise. From her perspective, everything feels like a potential chance. So, to be faced with a questionable contract like that... ...from her favorite publisher, no less... ...she may very well be... ...just feeling a little shaken up. That's a good point! Oh. I hope he has actually something he can... ...something meaningful to interject. Yeah. Nope, he's just being a dick! Yeah. But I'm with her, right? She has nothing to worry about. Even so, she may still worry. If she's that worried, why don't you just say something like, Of course I'll help, but only if your terms aren't so crappy. That should do it, right? And, oh. Unless he you did. isn't very good with the peoples. Yeah. Unless you didn't, she's not convinced that I don't know. Hmm. So do we allow to stab people here, or what? I thought. I tell her that. And she decides to go ahead with it anyway. I knew for a fact she wouldn't be able to refuse her at this point. Hmm. Oh. I see. So as we already agreed from the start, to only work on the game when we have the time. So, basically you're not sure if you want to commit. What are we talking about? Of course it's not that. Things change when you start involving money. And anything. Mm. Well, can't really argue with that. I, I just can see her thinking, who is this guy? Yeah, who is this twink? <laughs> I know how some of these companies work. They're looking for ideas from the small guys. They find a way to pluck things they want from the project and trash the rest. Oh. No respect for the effort whatsoever. See, that's why I'm very careful. Hmm. That publisher may be one of their favorites, but that doesn't mean they're good companies. Especially with the garbage contract. It really shows yeah. what they truly are. For all I know, they might have uh, saw that she did like the company, and that's why they sought her out. Especially mm -hmm. since they waited for her to not be there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I really like working with her on the game. I honestly do. I love hearing what she wants to tell with her game. We're also not bound by some brand company rules or anything. The brainstorming ways to incorporate our ideas into the game is interesting and more enjoyable. Good change from what I do during the day as a game designer. Right. I just want her to understand. I'm just worried about her. All valid reasons. Yeah, Kafumi's right. So I wonder. Did you say any of that to your pal at all? Alright, he has a fair point there. Yeah, what? Why would I do that? <laughs> Why would you not do that? Not to be creepy or anything, but what I ever heard you guys. It's creepy. <laughs> right, sorry. <laughs> so me being creepy you fight. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously you thought a lot about this. But like, if all you talked about was how dumb the contract was, and not any of what you just said, ugh. If I were in her position, I'd feel pretty bummed, too. Because I'd be wondering if my partner still had my back, you know? Like, if they even care at all. Because it sounds like the project is her baby. Just like you said, working relationships don't mix well. So it wouldn't be too far out if she worries about all the same stuff you do. Right? He does have a point. Yeah. Now having said that, I feel even more like an ass about what happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. Hindsight is really 2020, huh? I guess it came off that way. I just thought it would be a given she'd understand where I'm coming from. But maybe I'm taking things for granted. It's me who doesn't trust her. I just didn't want things to change. Embarrassing. Some friend am I, huh? And I am, huh? I'm leaving. Alright. 
I hope everything will turn out well. We'll see. Have a safe journey home. Yep. Bye. Oh, bye. Ugh. What a nice. Nice. He had a positive interaction today. Yeah, at least this guy is not constantly just losing bond points with everything. I didn't get anything done at all. That's too bad. Was that like a regular occurrence here or something? Nothing specifically, just like in general. Well, you seem used to this. Well, the answer is definitely yeah, right? Not all the time, but often enough. Cool. Cool, cool. So that, mm. that's the real reason why this place is called Coffee Talk, right? You make people talk. I do. Well, it feels like the whole place does. Heck, even I talk about myself a lot more than usual. I'm it's sure kind of, you do. Which is kind of weird. But also weirdly cathartic. I'll take that as a compliment, I think. You should. It's a feature. I reckon there's more benefit from talking things out without having to get smashed first. More embarrassing to remember, sure. But great for self-reflection. Good point. Anyhow, before I forget, could you hold on to something for me? Hmm? I hate him! I hate him! A fidget spinner with a social media handle printed on its back. Why? Why? A fidget spinner. I want to shoot this guy in his knees. A fidget spinner. My old business card. Why is it a fucking business card? Maybe he invented them. Oh my gosh. The lady comes from yesterday again. Could you give that to her? You mean Miss Riona? Yeah, Riona. I mean, I owe her an apology, you know. I couldn't find her online with just her first name, if that's even her real name. But maybe you could pass it along with my info to her, so she can DM me. Also, in this form, it's like likely to get thrown out, right? Mm. Good point, but also it's more likely to be given to a kid. <laughs> right? It really depends on the person. An influencer's <laughs> contact for a certain someone. Hmm. I fucking hate it. I I appreciate the thoughts, yeah. but... Do you think she'll throw it away? Honestly, I can't really say. Okay, now you're making me nervous. Can you give it back? I might need it right now. <laughs> sure. No, it's fine. Keep it. I need to keep my result. Dude, are you bipolar? Actual question. Okay, now I'm just imagining the second he says that, the door drawer opens back up and it comes back out. Yeah! How about writing down your email instead? Are you not a cat boy? It will feel a bit more personal that way. You think so? Well, yeah, it's not... yeah. I thought she'd be more comfortable about contemplating me if it's less personal. That's why I figured her DMing me would be better. But then again... Hmm. Nah, you're right. A direct line would be better here. Mm -hmm. What if she throws it away? At least you'll have sincerely tried. True that. Alright. I'll trust your judgment, Kafumi. Use paper with Lucas Tomodachil, username and phone number written on it. Mm. Okay, so we can pick which one to give her, I guess? Yep. In that case, could you please give it to her when the time seems right? She even comes back, that is. I'll see what I can do. Alright, sweet. Thanks, Kafumi. You're the best! Oh man. I better go before the rain gets worse. See you around, Kafumi. Don't work too hard, okay? Thanks. Safe trip. Take care. Ugh. Hmm. I feel like time goes slower with him around. Oh shit. I think Kafumi agrees. What a day. Russian tea, despite the name, it's a totally American drink. Yep. All right, let's Ooh. let's read the paper and then we we stop for now. Okay. You're just in time, lucky for the end of the stream. <laughs> Ish. Uh, you can read it. 
UFO spotted by Space National Guard fighters this wait, Space National Guard fighters this morning? Neil! Always change your OPTPs. Government advice on preventing data leaks baffles everyone. Are one true pairings? I don't yeah, that's the baffling part I haven't mentioned. <laughs> yeah. Go bleed labs fight invasive lionfish by releasing killer algae. Algae, don't kill the lionfish, we kinda need those. Anyway. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Save game. Main menu, yes. Uh, I like that newspaper. Okay. I need to see. Is he our new Freya? No, she's here! Okay, good. Okay, good. Oh, oh Freya, oh, I missed you. She's in a green jacket now. I missed you, Freya. Please, please, please she stay. Has new outfits. Please stay here. Wait. We can change people? Okay, cool. Huh. And we got the people from the last game, too, I see. Because yeah. I assume because we, you know, know them. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, Freya. Oh, I missed you. Don't ever leave us again. I just imagine, like, the Shaga thing just hugging her tightly. Yeah, just show us from Monster Girl Encyclopedia and a freaking coffee, like, barista outfit just hugs her tight. It's like, don't, don't leave us ever again, Freya. We don't want you to be just gone because of influencer boy. When you leave, he comes. <laughs> when you leave, he comes. <laughs> all right, all right, that's it for when now. When you leave, the fidget man appears. <laughs> Oh, that was like a breath of fresh air. Freya, don't leave us again. <laughs> all right, all right, let's let's uh, find someone to raid. Okay, this was fun. That was indeed fun. Oh my goodness. Oh, my turn up. That I could help Sensei. It means a lot to me. That was that was amazing. I'm so glad that we can actually do this shit. Oh, yes. we can do Mishis Izakaya next week. Yay. Is Gigi still going? Hold on. Gigi is going late into the night. Let me just make sure. Yeah, she's still going. Okay, we're raiding a sheep. 